Hey all, so today's project is going to be putting some door panels on the inside of these doors. So let's get to work. So one of the pieces that I saved from the interior when I ripped it out was this panel, which is the panel for this door, because I figured it'd be much easier to cut out the various notches and stuff with this. So all I need to do basically now is take the panel that's replacing it, I was going to do this off when I'm not holding the camera, but lay it on here, trace so it's lined up properly, and trace the various openings, and then copy them out. I'm putting a different, this is was an ashtray, I'm going to be putting a cup holder in that same spot, but I'm going to double check if this hole's the right size for the cup holder, then I'm just going to cut it out, be done with that part too. And I messed up. I measured correctly off that board, but I forgot that that board had a piece of wood trim at the top of it. So with all my holes in the right position relative to that, I'm down a bit from where I should be. So basically this should have been, you know, about another three quarters of an inch, inch higher. Not, the board should have been bigger, but it should have been up by that much. So that was 100% a mistake on my part. I think what I'm going to do is, because these are all right relative to each other, but the board is wrong, unfortunately I can't just move them. And I could, I guess, add another piece up here, but it would be really a kludgy hack, because I have to slice it off the bottom, patch it onto the top, it wouldn't be secured super well, blah 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 blah. I think what I'm going to do is do this door to completion, Wrap it, vinyl it, everything. Get the panels where I like them on this one. Then figure out where my discrepancy lies relative to the other panel. Like, you know, is it exactly three quarter of an inch, whatever. And then remake that other panel from scratch, moving all of the holes up by that amount. And I think that'll solve the whole thing in the neatest way and without a bunch more guessing. So I'm going to skip... That panel is just going to get put aside. I'm going to do all the other ones, which is going to involve rounding all the corners, getting them all ready, and getting the vinyl and velvet attached to them, and then we'll go forward from there. All right, we got some doors. Heck yeah. So velvet, as always, the camera is showing this velvet to be way more orange than it really is. It's really much more of a pure red 
ditto on this being not as orange. Um, the discrepancy is also slightly less obvious in person. I mean, it's obviously different, but it's less glaring. This is a little bit darker, and this is a little bit brighter, so it's not quite so, oh my god, it's an orange thing next to a, like, dark, dark reddish orange, you know, brick red thing. But yeah, I've got these on. I'm pretty happy with them. Trim that little corner down. My corners down there are not perfect because I didn't really have as much material as I should have to round those off. That was my own mistake, but they went on pretty good. I had to put screws down the center because they were bowing that way. Or not even bowing, they just weren't sitting flat. So this piece was out probably a quarter of an inch or so you could push on it and move it in. So I just put, I really needed one here. That was the only real problem one. But at that point, it would have looked weird to just have one there. So I just did them all for consistency. Same thing on this door. This door's a little easier. There's no extra cutout. I have not cut out for the inner latch. I'm still going to build that. But since I'm out of ideas right now on how to do that easily, I decided rather than put off making this panel or put a hole in here that might be the wrong one, I'm just going to do without. What I'll do is once I know what I need here, I will cut, I will peel the fabric back, cut the hole, and then, you know, bend the fabric and glue it to the back side to have the hole that I need. But for now, that's good. Jumping over here. This one's done. This sort of horrified, I don't know how well the, yeah, sort of horrified monster face here is where the cup holder goes. You saw me installing it and then taking it back out again. That's because it desperately needs to be scrubbed and then it's going to be dyed with the SEM dye. So it's not gray, it's a red, even though it's not this particular red. But that came out good. In the case of this, I had to put ones here and here because this panel was bowing like it was touching here and here and then had a huge gap. But once I'd put these in, the bottom is solid up against, so I didn't bother to put an additional screw at the bottom. There just was no need for it, so I did that. This side, same deal on the lower panel. Now you saw me messing with the that on the other panel. What I could do now that I had the lower panel in is figure out how far off I am from right. Like when this is installed correctly, I am you know, that amount off and the same amount on the other side. So what I'm going to do is cut a new piece. I'm actually going to cut it very slightly taller. I'm going to measure this panel and make sure, and I think this one's going to end up a little bit taller because I feel like this is a different size. But either way, I'm going to recut the overall square that's the right size for here. And then using this as a template, I'm going to scooch this down on it by that amount cut you know mark my three openings and cut them then i'll have the correct panel i'll test fit that make sure that fits and then wrap that in velvet and then the panels for all four doors will be done so i made the upper panel for up here and i covered it in the wrong material <laughs> i'm so embarrassed yeah i think it's it's the end of the day and i think i should have probably kicked off a few minutes ago but oh well I'm going to peel this all back off before the glue sets up fully, and then I'm going to redo it in the right material. Which... All right, look at that. It's on and with the right materials and everything. So I'm happy with how that came out. That looks good. Again, cup holders going here. That's what that hole's for. So yeah, really happy overall. Just reused this. I can't figure out how to get this off the lock, or I would have vinyl dyed that. I probably will at some point figure that out and do that. But for now, black looks fine. Um... So the next thing is I have some vintage handles that right now I have three and I have four doors. So I've been going back and forth about which doors are going to get a handle. This one is obviously going to get a handle. And I, th I wanted to put the other two on those two doors just for a nice sort of symmetry. And I think that's what I'm going to do. A handle might be slightly more useful on this door than on those two, but I would rather have this nice symmetry back there than the chance, because this door didn't have a handle on it before, so the chance that this door would be more useful to handle. As soon as I track down a fourth one, obviously it's going to go on that door. These things have two screws per side, but what happens is where the caps fit like this with only one hole, you put one screw in on each side, then you put the cap in with the other screw. And there we are. That's it, really. Um... I secured it all on and then tried it and realized I had not, I'd done it almost flush, like I couldn't get my fingers behind it. So what I just did was unscrewed this side, moved this screw to the inner, you know, 
where the screw had been, I moved it to the inner hole and then put a new inner hole through for the other screw. And that now it's nice and comfortable to grab. So that'll work perfectly. And it looks right. It looks nice and vintage. It looks perfect against the door panel. And I'm really happy with that. That, yeah, this is all coming together. That adds a weirdly finished look to it. Like, I don't know why, but that really changes it to look a heck of a lot more finished than it did just a second ago. So I'm going to do the same thing on the two back ones, and then I will be done. And those are done and on. So, yeah, again, it makes it look so much more professional just to have those handles on there for some reason. Haven't touched them up yet. I'm going to just come out here with a little bit of black paint, a br tiny brush, and do that. Um, I'm actually not going to paint over the screw holes because they actually have a raised little chrome lip on them that I didn't notice until I was working closer. I'm probably going to replace these screws down the line. I just have to find the right ones just so I have something with a properly shiny head because some of these are a little sad. But that looks so good. I can now call these doors done. The back doors done. I'm going to eventually get that latch, but done. The side doors also done until such time as I find another handle to go on that door. And until I get the cup holders cleaned and dyed and installed, but that's just going to be putting a couple screws in. Um, I'm not going to bother to add that to the end of this video. You'll see them on and done in another video when they get around, you know, in the background of some other video when they finally get on there. So that's it for the doors for right now. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you all later. Bye.